Hello, welcome to our year in geometry together. This is the second video you've watched, but the first one that I've done with you. Um, this is for our first period and second period geometry classes, and we're going to learn about angles. Uh, you should have in front of you either on your computer in your Doctopus app uh, or on paper the following page, the page looks like this. You're going to fill this in as we go along. So we're going to learn about angles. Are you ready, Austin? Excellent. Here we go. Angles. Bam. Angles and points. That should be angle and points. Okay. An angle is a figure formed by two rays with a common endpoint called the vertex. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, so there you have the two rays and they are hinged together at the vertex. An angle can have a point in the interior, exterior, or on the angle. Interior means inside exterior is outside. So, where do you think those points will be? Okay, there's our angle. A is on the angle. B is the vertex. C is on the angle. And wait for it. D is in the interior. If the angle closed, if this came down, chomp, then it would eat the point inside, Devin. It would eat that letter D. Now, exterior, where is an exterior point going to be? What letter will it be, Mackenzie? What do you think? I think it will be the letter E, and it will be right there. It could be anywhere outside, right? So, points A, B, and C are on the angle. D is in the interior, and E is in the exterior. All right, so fill in number two appropriately on your paper, and we'll go to the next step. You can pause these at any time. Um, so if, you, if I'm going too fast, or if you've fallen asleep, or if you have to uh, go get a snack, you can pause this read and um, come back. But be sure to come back. All right, we can name an angle three ways. Number one is using three points. The vertex must be written as the middle letter. Okay, so the angle below can be written as A, B, C, or as C, B, A. Alright, I always like to pretend I'm a little bug and I'm going to be, uh oh, where's my cursor? Right here. You start somewhere and you're going to walk, 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 walk. Oh, come on, cursor. Come on. You're going to walk past the letter A. Walk, 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 walk. B. Walk, 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 walk. C. Okay. Tedious, but hey, makes it a little bit more fun, doesn't it, Cameron? All right. So, that can be ABC or CBA. Fill in number three on your uh, piece of paper. Okay. We can also use one point. You use only the vertex letter. What letter will that be, Hillary? You are so right. Okay, it's going to be the letter B. All right, you can only use this method when the vertex point is the vertex of one and only ang one and only one angle. Okay, blah 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 blah. Basically, you'll see some examples of when this will not work to use one letter. All right, this angle is called angle B. Super. All right, fill in number four on your piece of paper. Here we go. What do you notice different about this drawing, Jason? What is different? All right, you've got the number two in the middle there. What does that mean? You can use a number. A number without the degree symbol, which is the tiny little circle that uh, is written on your paper by number five, may be used as the label or the name of the angle. This number is placed in the interior of the angle near the vertex. The angle to the left can be named as angle two. Okay, 
this one letter name is unacceptable when oh ignore that cross that off bam 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 okay we don't need we don't need nothing all right so fill in number five okay we can use a single number all right so here's some examples <sighs> We have a drawing here. It looks a little bit complicated, but um, we will uh, figure it out. Here we go. All right, K is the vertex of more than one angle. You see that? Looks like the letter W, sort of, doesn't it? This kind of looks like a W. Boom, 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 right? All right, so K, if I said angle K, do you know what angle I'm talking about? You don't. Because it could be angle LKM, or it could be angle MKP, or it could be angle LKP. All right, angle K is too ambiguous. That's a big word. You can Google it if you want. All right, so we have those three angles: LKM, PKM, and LKP. Okay. I know that these letters are very confusing, especially for the dyslexic, but um, we will all work together to figure this out. There is also angle 2. See right here is angle 2, right here, and angle 3. But there's not an angle 5. I think that's kind of silly. I don't know who would do that. But yes, you do not add these together. All right, now. There are four types of angles, Nick. Okay, so this you should make in fourth grade. If you don't, this is a good reminder. If you're turning your paper over, we're on number six. Or if you're online, you're still at number six. And four types of angles. Bam, acute angle. Angle whose measure is less than 90. A right angle. An angle whose measure is exactly 90. An obtuse angle. You got it. An angle whose measure is between 90 and 180. Now this next one is probably new to you. But it's not written on the paper. The last one is a straight angle. And a straight angle has exactly 180 degrees. It's a straight line. But it's an angle. Crazy. Crazy, crazy. All right, Leah, we're moving on to pairs of angles. Here we go. Bam. Bam. Adjacent angles. Okay? What does the word adjacent mean, Lucas? What does the word adjacent mean? It means next to. Okay? So adjacent angles have a common side and a common vertex. All right, what do they look like? They look like that. Okay, the drawing on your paper is much simpler. Okay, it is simply an angle with a ray in the middle. Adjacent angles, uh, no, no, they look like, uh, hmm, I don't know, three rays coming out of the same point. Sunshine. All right, adjacent angles. Those have a common side. Now, this next part is a non-example, which means it is not an example. Ah, crazy. Okay, what do you? How do you describe the difference between those two diagrams? All right, non-adjacent, not next to. Okay, Zach, here we go. Oh, oh, no, that's too much writing. Don't worry about that. All right, complementary angles. We're complementary. Okay, we're going to have to really figure out how we're going to remember this. Complementary or angles that, da, 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 wait for it, add up to 90 degrees. The sum is 90. Okay, sum means add. Write that down. Complementary angles, a pair of angles whose sum is 90. They do not have to be adjacent. These are adjacent, little sunshine rays coming out of the letter Q. They are next to each other. However, these two are not adjacent. Okay, 
Do you see how there's four rays here? Oh, come on, there's one, two, three, four rays. Okay, those four rays are non-adjacent angles, two different angles, but they're still complementary. They add up to 90 degrees. Okay, you will often see, always see, on adjacent angles, the box here. You need to pay attention to this, okay? This is going to be your new BFF number one. This is geometry BFF number one, the red box, okay? That will tell you that you have a 90 degree angle. Supplementary angles. What is our number for supplementary? Our number will be a pair of angles whose sum is 180 degrees. Okay, here we go. Two examples. We have here adjacent angles. They're next to each other. Three rays coming out of the letter Q. AQC, we call AQC a straight angle. These are also called supplementary angles. Okay. No, they are supplementary angles. Oh, my goodness. This is also called a linear pair. Okay. So sorry. <sighs> linear pair. All right. So there's an example. Oh, yeah. There you go. Also called a linear pair. Mm -hmm. And then here we have two uh, non adjacent angles. However, angle 2 is 140, angle 1 is 40, and together that equals 180. But you notice that they are non-adjacent. Four rays. One, two, three, four rays. Okay? One more. Here we go. Vertical angles. This is your BFF, geometry BFF number two. Vertical angles. Love them. Love them. A pair of angles whose sides form opposite rays. What does that mean? They make an X. An X. Simple, simple, simple. Vertical angles make an X. So, what that means is that angle 1, a bam, is congruent to angle 3 on the other side. 1 and 3 are the same measure. They're equal to each other. 2 and 4 are equal to each other. Okay. In big old long words in a crazy sentence, it says vertical angles are non-adjacent angles formed by intersecting lines. Okay. See how smart you are. Vertical angles are non-adjacent, which means they're not next to each other. 1, 2, 3, Four, formed by intersecting lines. They make an X. Okay. And here we go. Last slide. Kabam. Goodbye. Have a good night. Be good.